Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 86 of Age of Wonders, a planet fall, and what I have done is I have re, uh, reprioritized the the construction of uh, this item. Uh, queued production orbital relay exploitation so that hopefully we can uh, create the portal in the uh, once we have finished that so this will be a this will have a portal over here it is on this site uh, well this the colony here will have the portal here because we don't have access through here remember so that's one here this would be the one here and the last one will be all the way down in the south central over here so those will be those are just the orbital relay so we still have to create a portal so we're not there yet anyway uh, i guess uh now that we have done everything i think it would be we can go to the next turn right uh this is our spy over here where is the other I can't I can't remember where, where we place the other owl I thought it was just somewhere here anyway it doesn't matter what we're trying to do is we're just keeping an eye on what's going on between Hui Jiang and Michael Vincent and Hui Jiang apparently is going to take a lot of beating he's only got two colonies left while uh, Michael Vincent has one two three four is that it so he's got double it one two three four and five. Oh, he's got five so Hui Jiang is going to lose this round. Uh, okay, anyway, uh, let's see how long it will take for Michael Vincent Valentine to um, take over. Uh, so he, he's continuing to make more units. Wow, that is a full stack, right? Yeah, he's continuing to make more units. Uh, and then we also, okay, uh, this is uh, turn 66. So let us save this. So now that we have all of, oh, okay. Uh, the colonizer production ready we're moving the colonizer over to here so what's going to happen is that uh this colony will be will be absorbing uh, colonies that are up here and possibly here hold on let's check this one right that would be that would give us two energies over there and then this one another two energies so we can go up and take those uh, but I think we're only limited to four annexes and so what I'm thinking is we can have uh, this one turn into a colony because it has food production and then it will annex this one and this one what's this one uh, it has okay one each it will annex this one so one two 
and 3. Okay, so that is how it's hopefully it pans out. Okay, uh, we'll better move our... to come all the way here. Okay, that's zero movements. Uh, now that we've made the uh, prime central, I think we can make another we can punch out another uh, gunship. We are producing 40 Cosmite per turn. Okay, uh, where do we get happiness? Happiness event in colony. Okay, we got production values for that one. Yeah, this colony is maxed out, so we are concentrating on electrical production. No, no, energy production. And oh, we're the emphasizing colonist production and um, production. Uh, okay, so that's good. Production ready. Uh, what is this colony? Production central. Same. It's the same production central. Okay. Uh. Created sector base for last frontier. Oh, sector okay. Annexed. Okay, now we can hopefully um, upgrade the sector. It will be producing energy, right? Uh, how much energy is this sector producing? 12. Okay, let's produce energy. Uh, what What is this sector like? Yeah, two uh, production and two energy. Okay, we can produce energy there. What's the queue look like? Okay. Uh Wow, that's a, that's a long queue. Okay. Uh, ops ready to launch. Operations primed and ready. Doctrine enacted. Okay, uh, we can launch this doctrine here. Uh, active. Doctrine operation, you have the support of the Paragon to restore Empire. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is already active, so we are getting 16 uh, influence now rather than 12 before. So uh, we're getting, yeah, we're getting the plus 4 in. Uh, okay, um, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, so R2, oh, this is where. The other Alice. See, they they don't have good mods. Just uh, ooh, that's not bad. Reactive shielding. Yeah, these are all relatively low level mods. Okay. Um, I 
do we need to bring it here? We can we can observe what's happening here. And because of our operation, we are seeing what's going on here too. Uh, okay. Um, Okay, we need to move these guys around. Uh, hold on, this is the... We're gonna change... We're gonna change this guy into all air units. So, we can pass the two... Because we are making an air unit on the next turn. This guy over here so that would have counted as moving uh, that's counted as moving also this guy hasn't moved uh, where what is ooh another turn cool ah oh, she's max she's close to maxing out oh uh, okay how many hit points on this one? 68! And it's a novice! Wow, okay. Uh, these are the silicon type... Uh, oh, so it has... But I thought it has range. Yes, it has range. Now, once we have the... Um, shielding, and the shielding or armor, we can give it to these guys. But uh, this guy, yeah, this just has jump. These are melee guys. Okay, uh, this is like our uh, cannon fodder. We can uh, throw them into... We can send them into the Elysium uh, areas first, right? And then once, uh, if we cannot bring in more than one army into the, into any area, we will send these guys in first, and then in the next round, we'll send in uh, a heavy unit. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, and then R2, so that guy has moved also? Okay. So these guys are taking a long time to level up. Uh, yeah. Yes, they are taking a long time to level up. We can buy another unit uh, from the Paragons. We are at 84 uh, in terms of influence. Yeah, let's buy another unit. Or should we should we wait for uh, once we get here? Because what's our current relationship with them? We're still that just twenty points away. Uh, However, the earlier we get a unit, uh, that means we can immediately uh, get it to level up. Because what what's given to us is actually a 
As a veteran starting starting a veteran. Huh. Uh do these things have a uh, maintenance cost? No, there's no maintenance cost. Heavy repeater. And because they can be... Wow, they can be really improved like this. So I'm waiting for the next uh, development in, in our uh, research. I'm interested in this item, like this one. Uh, firearms attacks have an 8% 8, 8 glare strength chance for concussion one turn on the primary target and while staggering adjacent units with high impact. So I'm, that's the other thing. If we buy the unit, I don't want to uh, improve it immediately because I'm waiting for that. There's a lot of um, investment to go into that. The other thing is that uh, once we research that, I want to go for this walker. I don't know how strong this thing is. Uh, it should be compatible of, with our... So it's a tier 7 unit walker. And this is a vehicle walker. It starts at 60, upgrade strike missile, Gatling gun. So I don't know, maybe, you know, let's not buy that and we can use this. And that would be in 11 turns. And then what's the final one over here? What is this? Carrier command, uh, drone carrier. Jeez. Oh, laser cannon, launch attack drones, launch repair drone, launch skirmish drones, mechanical heavy heavy unit, 450 power. Woo. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Let's close this. And that will be another 24 turns after 11 turn here. Okay, forget it. Uh, we are not doing that for now. Um, that's like quite a long ways away. Unless we start dedicating more uh, resources to... To research. Right? So they're staying here because this one has a uh, simulation. Okay. Uh, orders. Uh, do we want to cross the border over here? Uh... Does this one have... No, this one doesn't have a simulation unit. Does this one have a simulation unit? Oh, it is making one. Uh, I would like them to come over here and they start... What do you call this? Uh, training up. But the problem is... Uh, we will cross Michael Valentine's uh, territory and we will just piss them off. Uh... This is Jack, right? Okay. Uh, see, the problem with Jack is that he she, he is only level four. How about uh, this lady? She's also level four. Um, I was thinking that uh, oh, she has. I think better uh, level Jack up first. The thing is that what we want to do with Jack is that. Uh, we want him to have I want to take that out and change him to give him the ability to pilot stuff uh, So he needs to level up one more turn 
so that he can have the piloting skill, which right now he does not have. Okay, I think uh, we will get Jack come over here. And then in the next turn, he'll just skip over to the other side. And she will be the one that will be like patrolling this side. Okay, uh, then R2. Wait, R2. Uh, we just need to move them. R2 is our spy in place. And the other R2 will be also a spy in place. And set production central R2. Production central. Oh, we can do this, right? Uh, at higher levels, this uh, can reduce the upkeep cost of any unit produced in this colony. Why, why did we pick this? Not this one. See, this one uh, at higher levels, increased energy gains can be gained from energy workers. Why did we pick this one? Huh. Okay, uh, at higher levels, uh, this can reduce the upkeep cost of any units produced in this colony. Upkeep cost. Okay, so we will now have this one producing units rather than prime I think let's remove this yeah because the upkeep cost on this thing is to be producing energy Because the upkeep cost of those planes are uh, eight energy, so I don't know what the upkeep cost reduction is. Uh, let's check. Uh, Uh, upkeep cost, uh, unit cost can never be lowered more than s unit upkeep cost can never be lowered more than 50% so I don't know how much it is okay we will see okay and then if that's the case then we will make this where we produce this one right Okay, and then uh, Prime will now be limited to doing Yes, minimize population, minimize production, maximize energy, maximize research. Okay, uh, cool. That's 239. So, wow, he's uh, Prime Central is pr is pumping out a lot of uh, a lot of energy. Okay, I guess this would be a good place. Uh, hold on. Uh, let let let's go check. We our timer hasn't gone up, so we can actually. Oh, they're making more. Valentine's making more units. Okay. Uh, let us uh, end the turn. And let's check on their mods. So it's the same people. 
So right now he might have actually three groups now, uh, three armies. Uh, this one, almost a full stack. This is one, it's a full stack. So he will have three stacks. Wow, maybe even four. So we, 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 uh, Hugh, is going to have a bunch of problems coming up towards him. So he will have probably two stacks and um, defending against three stacks plus he will have his uh, base, right? The base is at 780. So I think he will still be clobbered, but, but that's not our business, okay? Uh, anyway, I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.